autism or autism spectrum disorder is a neurological and developmental disorder that affects social skills, communication, and behavior. Lack of affection, limited babbling, limited verbal expression, not reaching for objects. Lastly, let's talk about the outlook for babies diagnosed with autism. While there are no guarantees, early intervention and treatment can significantly impact a child's development. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, your go-to destination for all things related to kids' health. I'm your host, Dr. Waze Rafiq, and today we have an important topic to discuss. We'll be exploring the early signs of autism in babies. Autism is a complex condition and recognizing the signs early is crucial for timely intervention and support. What is autism? Before we delve into the recognizing signs, let's start with understanding what autism is. Autism or autism spectrum disorder is a neurological and developmental disorder that affects social skills, communication, and behavior. It's a condition that falls on a spectrum ranging from mild to severe. According to the Center of Disease Control, autism affects 1 in 36 children today. Now that we know what autism is, let's talk about its causes. While the exact cause of autism remains unclear, it's believed to result from a combination of environmental and genetic factors. Some circumstances like having a sibling with autism or premature birth can increase a child's risk. However, it's crucial to emphasize that there's no link between vaccines and autism. Moving on, let's discuss the signs of autism in babies during the first three months of life. Keep in mind that all babies develop at their own pace, but there are some potential red flags to look for. Not following moving objects with their eyes, sensitivity to loud noises, limited facial expression, poor facial recognition, especially with new faces. Now let's explore the signs of autism in babies aged four to seven months. These may include disinterest in certain sounds perceived, lack of affection, limited babbling, limited verbal expression, not reaching for objects, limited facial expressions, and emotional reactivity. Let's talk about the signs of autism in babies aged 8 to 12 months. As your baby grows older, there are signs you should be aware of if you suspect autism. For babies aged 8 to 12 months, watch out for difficulty crawling, avoiding eye contact, limited or incomprehensive speech, using gestures like waving or shaking their head, not pointing to objects or pictures, appearing unbalanced or unable to stand even with support. If you notice some of these signs in your baby, don't panic. The next step is very crucial. Early intervention is key to helping children with autism reach their full potential. The earlier you get a diagnosis, the sooner you can enroll in developmental and behavioral intervention. Now let's discuss how to handle an autism diagnosis. Remember, an autism diagnosis is not a negative thing. Many children with autism lead fulfilling life. The goal is to make the symptoms more manageable and enhance your child's quality of life. Various therapies uh, that may include cognitive behavioral therapy, speech therapy, and more can be beneficial. Lastly, let's talk about the outlook for babies diagnosed with autism. 
while there are no guarantees early intervention and treatment can significantly impact a child's development autism is a lifelong condition but evidence-based treatments can help and support individuals with autism it's all about making sure your child reaches their full potential before we wrap up I want to highlight the power of play and early intervention. Play-based methods can help babies with autism develop essential social and language skills. Engaging with your baby through play can make a significant difference in their development. Here are some early autism intervention activities you can do at home. Imitate your baby's actions. Show excitement during playtime. Follow your baby's lead and interests. Incorporate songs to enhance language skills. Take turns in play activities. Grab the spotlight by making yourself interesting and engaging. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide on recognizing the signs of autism in babies. Remember, early intervention is crucial and play is a powerful tool for promoting your child's development. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative content on kids health. You can visit my website drawaysrafiq.com. Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you in the next episode. Pain is common in many injuries and illnesses before we talk about these two hey most everyone. commonly used pain medications,